Well, hundreds of juniors and seniors in Calhoun County Schools had an opportunity to visit with professionals in a variety of fields today. That's right. It is a part of an effort by career coaches and counselors in the district to make sure the young people are ready for the real world. Allie Martin was part of the career fair and has this report. For his day job, Royce Tidwell is an IT professional, but he also makes the time to serve as a volunteer firefighter with the city of Bruce. Tidwell says the career fair was a great opportunity to talk with high school students about the need for volunteer firefighters. We do a multitude of jobs on our day-to-day -day basis and then we come together and respond to calls and, and serve our community. I think that anybody that's interested in serving their community should take a look at the volunteer fire service. Representatives from a number of career fields in the public and private sectors were part of this career fair hosted by the Calhoun County Career and Technical Center. It was a chance for students to ask about possible career paths, training, and education. Um, obviously, you know, it's a career fair. They mostly want to go to college. Uh, they just don't have the, the grants or the scholarships and stuff. Um, also, like what, what training consists of, stuff like that, uh, and how, you know, they're, they're not really capable of doing that. They don't think that they would be able to. But that's the whole point of the, the recruiter's job, is to get them prepared for it. So we talk about with electricity. Everybody knows how important it is, but not many people know how it works or where it comes from. Um, there's more of an emphasis, emphasis on that these days, but uh, we try to just, you know, educate them on that there's somebody that has to design and maintain those systems to get it to your house every day so the lights come on. So we get to see different careers and colleges. So they have the hospital wing, and that's the helicopter, and I was able to learn about that and able to learn about Baptist and other colleges that offer nursing degrees. At the WCBI booth, students could dress up and interview their classmates about the career fair and fashion. And today we're at the career fair. Um, what do you want to do after high school? I want to go to ICC and be a physical therapist assistant. What is this? Why are you rocking this amazing suit? <laughs> Because it, it just it just spoke to me. When I picked it up, it said, Jeremiah, wear me. And I said, okay, I'll put you on. And this why I'm wearing this fantastic suit. So what's your plan after school? Uh, to go play college basketball, man. Okay, okay, okay. What you like about college basketball? You know, I just like the hoop. The career fair may be over, but the work continues. Career coaches will follow up with students, helping those students chart a course for life after high school. Telling your story in Calhoun County, Allie Martin, WCBI News.